Hi. So today we're going to play with a palette full packs. We're going to open it up, see what's inside, and experiment with the content. Stick around till the end of the video to find out how you can win um, a set of exclusive prints. Until then, enjoy the video. So this is last month's and I'm excited to see what's inside. Let's see. So let's open them up. Oh, so much more fuzzy stuff. I'm kind of a gift wrap pack wrap, like, so I might keep these uh, shreds for when I gift wrap stuff, you know, the holiday season's coming up. Oh, and I need some shreds. Um, okay, all right, back to the business here. We've got a, a paintbrush as a natural wrist ball, and it's got a, it's, it's a filbert, and it's got a um, pretty good heft. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to get into with that. Got a Stabilo white. Um, I'm assuming it's a charcoal pencil because this is charcoal. Yeah. It feels like feels like charcoal. Fine art charcoal. Under. I think this is probably fine. Just buying charcoal. It's the really soft stuff, you know. Oh boy. Yeah. This is buying car charcoal sticks. So I love how they give you a little thingy <laughs> to hold it by. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna help. Keep me clean. We're gonna get messy here. That's a tiny eraser. I love a tiny eraser. A little and tiny. It's so small. I love erasers. Um, another paintbrush. Oh, this is Princeton. Okay. I like the palette full packs because they always send some. Um, well, you can subscribe to the like premiere. Here's the general charcoal pencil. General. Mm -hmm. Here's another charcoal pencil. This is the Rembrandt one. This one's not sharpened, so we get to use my sharpener. Let's see. A sticker. It's cute. Hi, cute. They always send a cute little sticker. We'll put it somewhere. Um. A cloth. Oh, this is nice. I actually have one of these. Um, let's see. I feel like it's upside down, kind of. So, yeah. I'm excited to try that blending with the cloth. I always use my fingers. I'll be using my fingers. Liquid charcoal. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of it. I assume it's kind of like watercolor. I don't know. And then we have the paper. Oh dear. I'm having to get rid of the shreds. <laughs> Maybe. Let's check the paper out. Oh, wow. This is definitely paper I don't have. It says sand grain. And if you, gosh, if only. You could feel it. It does, it has a really kind of rough texture. It kind of like almost feels like sandpaper. I wonder how they do that. It's a nice mid tone. Love that. Don't have to tone it myself. That's what I usually use to find charcoal for. So, wow, it's been years. It's been years since I used charcoal at all. So let's try it out. I don't know really what's going to happen. <laughs> We're gonna do it though. 
curls. Okay, so here's the liquid charcoal. I don't know. Um, I don't want to get the whole pad dirty, but I'm not gonna. I'm also not feeling like taping it down. See, got my lap desk here. This is what I use um, to rest my wrist on. Been having some issues with my wrist. Wonder why. So I'm gonna get started. Looking at my little. Portrait. This is it. I think it's nice. I went ahead and um, made it black and white, and uh, yeah, because I didn't, I didn't want the hassle. Just fix that. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna start with a sketch. Soft this charcoal to sketch with. Memory serves. So I actually had to email Palatful Packs to get the prompts because I'm a month behind and they only show the current month on their website. And um, what do you know? They said the first prompt was self portrait. And you know I'm all about that, so I went ahead and chose that prompt. This first part, I'm just trying to make sure that my sketch is right. I've been having some issues um, with placing the features again, um, which probably means that I need to go back to studying on a regular basis, um, but I really wanted to make sure all my planes were right, all my value shapes were right before I started working with the liquid charcoal, because I didn't really know like how to do that. So I'm just working with the vine charcoal, you can see, I'm trying to make sure that the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the chin, everything is lined up pretty much correctly. Here you go. There's the liquid charcoal going on. It kind of works like watercolor. So, um, like it lifts up again. If you re-wet it, um, you can push it around. You can water it down. You can apply it straight out of the bottle. Um, it's pretty sweet, actually. I really, really enjoyed working with it and building up the the deep values and because you know I love to work with watercolor <laughs> so it, it was really fun and uh, I did find that oh one really nice thing about it is that it stays put not like you know your vine charcoal or your pencils um, it will it Basically, if you apply it, it soaks into the paper because, you know, it's wet. So you can blend it a little bit, just a little bit, with your um, fingers or with a rag, but it does not move very much. I'm going to um, stop talking now and let you enjoy the rest of the video. And, um, yeah, that's it.
It turned out so good. I think I'm probably, I'm gonna spray it with a fixative. Um, but I really liked how it turned out and um, I had fun with it. I definitely will be using um, charcoal again very soon. But I'm super excited to um, also try out this month's palette full packs for you guys. Um, so look for that in, you know, the next couple weeks and, um, check out their website. This is, oh, that's upside down. <laughs> this is not a uh, paid in any way. I, I paid for these with my own money, but I, I do think they're worthwhile and it's really fun to get a surprise in the mail every once in a while. So now for the prints. Exciting, exciting. My prints are here. Um, they're five by sevens. This is how big a five by seven is. Um, so they're like a perfect size to kind of, you can frame them, you can prompt them up, you can put them on a, a bulletin board. You can do all kinds of stuff with them. Um, here they are. They look really good. They turned out really well. I think they look really nice. Um, those Jacli print, so they're fine art quality and um, they will last as far as like light fastness goes. Um, so yeah, head over to my website if you would like to purchase these three prints during the month of September. And if you're watching this, one person who comments below their favorite comment below your favorite fall activity and subscribe to the channel Make sure your subscription is public um, in your settings, in your YouTube membership settings. And um, you can, will be entered to win these three prints. Otherwise, go to my website and buy them for $20 for all three. One, a two, There we go. A three. They'll only be available through September. So, if you like them, if you like these prints, um, if you like these pieces, then go ahead and order them. I appreciate it. And I wish you a good day, sir.